Let's see. So how are you wanting to get your hair cut? So I want it cut back into the layers, uh -huh. but not to not too short where it's you know like afro-y, but more layers so when it dries and it curls, it's nice shape. You know, so not too much off, but a nice shape. Yeah, we're gonna take it. So in this clip, I'm basically giving her a consultation. Consultation is key. Cut one piece. We cut the bottom piece down here to cut it even, and we're gonna do the same thing to this top piece. Now, something else to keep in mind when getting your hair cut: the person who's cutting your hair must know the shape of the person's head. So I'm feeling around her hair, and she's flatter right here. So by her being flatter right here, I want to leave her layers a little longer so she can have that look of her hair coming out. Because if I cut it short right here and she's flat, then she's going to get real choppy layers that she don't want. So, and so I'm going to start going in at a 45 angle here. So you see, this is the part that I cut from the bottom. And so if I'm going to do a 45 angle, I'm going to have to cut this up like that. Okay? And basically what a 45 angle do is give you a slight elevation, which gives you the looks of subtle layers. And see, that gives her that layer look. But you'll see it better once it's all done. So I'm taking the next section. I basically do this from the nape, which is the bottom of the head, all the way up to towards the middle. You know, kind of where you usually have to hump at? I do it just below that. And you start to see how the curls are kind of bouncing up. So now I'm going to continue to the other side and cut that side also in a 45 degree angle. I'm also going to check my work after I'm done with that little section just to make sure I'm on the right track. And there we go. And so I'm going to keep doing this about right here. And then I'll show you how I cut it once I get right here. Okay, so you see the sides. I haven't touched the side yet, but this is how you'll go about cutting the side. You want the side to kind of be even with, the, you want the side to be even with the back. So, you also got to take into account that this is curly hair and curly hair shrinks. So, what you see may not be what it is, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, I'm going to scratch it out. Let's see what we can come up with. So, I took a piece of the back to bring it along with the side. So, all I'm going to do... That's a bit of the back. It's cut a teeny bit of this side off. Notice the shrinkage. That's why you have to be careful when you're cutting curly hair. Looks can be deceiving. And in case you're wondering why I'm bringing it back, because if you bring it forward, you end up cutting the short, cutting the front shorter. If you bring it back, you'll leave more length at the front. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to chop the front. So as you can see, this front is a little bit shorter than the back anyway, so we're not going to really mess with the front, but we just want to kind of blend it together. Now, I'm about to change the direction that I'm cutting the hair, because remember I said, um, sit up just a little bit so they can see how it's going, because remember, you see the hair is kind of going in, like I was telling her that it go in, it's going in like this, so now I want the hair to go out like this. So now I'm about to change the direction of it so it'll give it that look. In order for me to do that, I have to cut the hair at a straight out angle, which is called a 90 degree angle. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. You can sit back now. And so you see how the hair is looking, how it's like this piece right here is a lot longer than the other piece? That's because that's the piece that needs to be cut off. So I'm going to cut it at a 90. And the 90 just straight across. And like I said, I don't want it too choppy because she has her hair, her head is flatter right here. And so, when you have a flatter head, you want it to hang longer versus shorter. Because if you let it hang shorter, it's going to really look really choppy. 
If you're like me and you have a bit of a hump in the back of your head, you can afford to have your layers shorter there. It'll make it look really full. Starting to cave in and stick out a little bit. That's the exact look that we're going for. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm all done with the haircut. As you guys can see, you see the shape of it, and it's still wet, so I haven't styled it yet, but this is the basic shape of the haircut. Okay, we got it all done right now. Go around to the front. Excuse us. Give us a little shake there. And how are you feeling about your haircut? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. And what I'll do, i give you guys some still shots so you guys can see what it looked like. But like I said, like I was saying in the beginning, you see how the haircut is kind of going in and then the top is going out? Let's get in closer so you guys can see that. And see, the curls are intact. They're not coming out because I got them in there really good. And that's the end of my hair cutting tutorial. I got this little part right here, but it's just I need to draw that a little bit more. But that's the end, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and take care.